They don't deserve this at all, uh, which angers me. Joe Wilkerson, a Ringling High School resource officer, was the initial investigator in this case. Surprisingly, the school is the one who asked him to look into it, but it didn't start out as claims of abuse by the hands of Philip Kuntz. Instead, it was for a football player allegedly making threats against the school. The deeper I dug into it, the more, uh, uh, the darker it got. That's when several students and parents came forward, all with a very similar story of abuse. Victim statements provided to News 4 give just a glimpse of the information Wilkerson uncovered. Those victims say they were belittled and verbally accosted. Some of the alleged language used is simply too inflammatory to show on TV. These boys were allegedly forced to strip down and do burpee exercises naked. One victim saying, quote, some of the guys had burns on their private parts from it. They made me feel harassed, exposed, and ashamed. It's really heartbreaking. These boys are mainly juniors and seniors, um, and they're having their last years in high school kind of tarnished by this whole ordeal. As this information was brought to the sheriff's office and then exposed to the public, Wilkerson says he was kicked to the curb. The uh, superintendent uh, relieved me in my position, told me that I was supposed to on administrative leave. He was told it was due to a complaint filed against him, but what that complaint was, was never revealed. A former Ringling High School teacher says the same thing happened to her. He just told me, you're done in May. And... I wasn't expecting it, so I was really shocked, and I didn't know what to say. He said, you didn't do anything wrong. You just don't fit in with us. Shiloh Thompson was another leading force in giving these alleged victims a voice. She says several of them confided in her about Coach Coons. They felt like they were being attacked, bullied, singled out, um, and, you know, verbally abused, um, which then in return, you know, led to mental, mental anguish. Neither upset with the outcome. They're sticking to their guns that they, along with the alleged victims, did nothing wrong. Now, a lawsuit sits on the horizon, on the verge of being filed. Time will tell. In Ringling, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Kaylee, thank you. We've reached out to both Coons' lawyer and the school district, but have not heard back.